Welcome back to the Native Speaker Lightning Lessons. Here we're going to look at some more common mistakes and how to avoid them. What means, oh, of all the mistakes that drive teachers crazy, what means, blah, blah, has to be my number one mistake of all time. So first of all, what means, blah, blah, is totally wrong. And students say this way too much. So, you know, please, please. And the obvious question from students is, what's the right way to use it? I'm very glad you asked. You take what or some other question words, an auxiliary or a modal verb, an object phrase, an infinitive verb, and a complement. For example, what does this mean? Or what does grab the bull by the horns mean? So if it's a phrase, put the phrase in here between does and mean and Bob's your uncle. What did Sarah mean about the party? So in the past, it'll change to did, but look, mean stays the same. What do you mean? What will this mean for us going forward? So if it's in the future, just change will, no change to mean, and for us going forward. By the way, going forward is an extremely popular phrase for the future, especially in the workplace and in college. What might this coded message mean, I wonder? I put in might here just to show you that it'll use a number of models, and this might mean that there's a bit of mystery. So I've added I wonder over here at the end in the complement for some mystery. You might see this in Scooby-Doo. So no more of this what means blah blah, okay? Because it's really, you know. Takeaway point here is what does blah blah mean is good, and what means blah blah is bad. But wait, hang on a sec, say my good students. I'm sure I've heard something like, what means in a sentence, haven't I? Or have I? Actually, you have. In indirect question phrases like, could you tell me, do you know, I need to know, I wonder, these will use a what plus a query item plus means. So what blah blah means. So for example, could you tell me what substantial means? Do you know what intrinsic means? I need to know what circumspect means. And I wonder what subjunctive means. That's how it works when it's indirect. But guess what happens? Sometimes students mix this rule and the earlier rule and they say something like this. Could you tell me what does substantial means? Do you know what does intrinsic means? I need to know what does the circumspect means. And I wonder what does the subjunctive means. Now don't do that because that's a big fat mistake and you mustn't do that. Okay, that wasn't so difficult was it? Easy peasy Japanesey. So, if you'd like to know more about all the ins and outs of this and other language points, sign up now for our online course at info at nativespeaker.ie and you'll never have to make this mistake again. That's all from this Native Speaker Lightning lesson. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and click the bell to get notifications of further lessons. See you all next time.